everybody, it's April with my three C's back at the travel trailer in Northern Florida. Uh, it's the wrap up of hunting season for the year, so we're probably gonna be getting a lot more done, a lot more videos. But here and there throughout the season, we were able to accomplish a few things. We actually did start on um, decking the front part of our trailer. Uh, we actually buy a canopy to help with the rain. And if we come this way, this area right here, we plan on doing an outdoor kitchen. So if you guys want to see um, a little bit about how we DIY that outdoor kitchen, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, let me know that you guys want to see it. But uh, for, for now, we're going to go inside and we're going to work a little bit on the flooring and uh, let's go inside and get that done now. So one of the things that we're going to try to accomplish is we're going to take this component out and replace it with a really nice electric fireplace. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my drill, unscrew all the screws that are in this component that are adhering it to the wall, and it should just move out really easy once I'm done. Back over. Well, I can't see from your big head, but. <laughs> well, it's better that I do this appropriately than get yeah. a shot, right? That's right. Don't lock me in. One more? Nope. Two more. Two more. Three more. Three more. Maybe we should write Ryobi and ask them if they have a smaller one to get in small places. See if they'll send us one for free. <laughs> You'll edit that out. Cheap <laughs> I thought it would be like, you know what, for Valentine's Day I'm going to buy my wife a small Ryobi drill. Or the nail gun. The what? The nail gun. Yeah, that nail gun is sweet. Okay, so I just need to run this knife along the wall. Make sure that I get it off the wall so it comes right off. Ta-da! There. Very the nice. <sighs> that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> When we initially fixed the rot right here by the door frame, we took uh, this piece of wood, cut it out, and replaced it with a brand new piece of plywood. Um, we had inserted a brace um, underneath this, but apparently the brace did not hold the way it should have, and it how after time is left a little bit of a gap. So every time you step on it, it kind of um, pushes down, and that caused some of the vinyl tiles to crack, and we don't want that, so we went ahead and removed the vinyl tiles. I'm going to remove this one as well, and uh, we're going to take this piece of plywood back up, find out what happened, why the brace didn't hold, fix it, and then retile it. And uh, obviously, the components got in there, so we accomplished that today. <laughs> All right, so. The vinyl tile sticks very, very well, and we became, we came here pretty unprepared to 
take up any vinyl so we didn't have any chisels or anything so we had to take this metal ruler and be a little ingenious about it take this hammer and just kind of chisel it away and it seems to be working out okay but really you want a chisel to do this job so um hey when you got to get something done you just do it any way you can Alright, so people that think that it doesn't get cold in Florida are crazy. I'm freezing. I had to put on my jacket. I'm going to take this up real quick and we'll see why the brace didn't hold. What the hell? Did you see that? No. You didn't have this on right. Well, blame it on your husband. That's right. The viewers at home know it wasn't me. I'm not on it. I'm not on it. Thought I was. Can't see. Alright. Never mind. There we go. It looks blurry. It looks blurry? Mm hmm. Ain't going nowhere. There you go. All right. Tell the audience what you did. <laughs> so, in order to fix our problem, um, we put a brace underneath these two joints here and then added this piece of wood so that when people step, onto this piece that goes right here, this plywood piece that goes here, it's going to help with weight. So it's going to distribute the weight more evenly and we won't have any more of these vinyl tiles cracking on us. It's just the other one you had flexibility. Yeah. And the last one. Now stand on it and see how sturdy it is. Alright. Wow! No give at all! High five. <laughs> Alright, so now that the component is gone, we are going to lay tile where it used to live. And it's just as easy as it was in the last videos. Just lay it down. Push it down. 
and it's good to go. And then I'll just do a little cut here so that it's nice and flush with the wall. And I have to replace these tiles at the front since they were cracked. And I'm going to do that right now. And you can still see our chalk line from before. Um, so that's very helpful because I don't have to guess where to lay the tile. It's already marked for me. Just follow the chalk line. Make sure it's nice and even. Lay it down. And there's a little itty bitty gap here, but that doesn't matter because we're going to have the kick plate right there in the front. And you won't even be able to see it. And again, from the last videos, make sure that you're using your arrows as a guide so that way all of your tiles lay the same. You have me in it too? I have you in it. Really? That's a really great wide angle, high definition lens. Wow. It is. <laughs> All right, are we rolling? We're rolling. We've oh, been we've rolling. We've been rolling. Okay. So, uh, I just totally forgot what I was going to say. So, I don't know if I had mentioned this on one of the last videos, but when you're cutting your tile to fit at the very end, some people say, oh, it's just as easy as laying this tile and cutting right here. Wrong. You want to make sure that this right here is the nice manufactured line because this right here is your straight line that's going to fit onto that tile here you want to have your cut closest to the wall because you're going to cover this with your baseboard or whatever you're installing right here and you want your cut to be hidden by that you don't want it to be out here where everybody can see it so make sure that when you're laying your tile and you get to these cuts here you want to hide the cuts right by the wall so in order to get that nice cut for this section of the wall, I'm going to measure from the wall to the tile that's already laid down. And I've got five and a quarter. So I'm marking this. This is just easy for me. I'm just going to mark it right on the metal ruler. And then remember, we're following the lines on the back of the tile. Remember, we're not doing it this way. We're actually wanting this piece of the tile. So I'm going to flip this guy over. And I'm going to measure this part because that's the part I'm going to use. So, right here at the end, it's kind of hidden because of the paper, but I'm going to mark on the paper. There's my tick mark there. I'm going to mark it here. Do a series of those tick marks. So when I cut the tile, I make sure I have a nice even line. Right here should be good. And then just going to mark this tile all the way down. Alright. So, this side right here is the piece that's going to fit right in this area. So, we finished up this area of the flooring uh, and we went ahead and put our uh, cute little fireplace here so that it looks all nice and cozy. Uh, we still have a little bit of flooring left to do before we're completely done. But little by little, we're making this travel trailer into a home away from home.